Hello everyone, I'm Razvan. Uh, on the interwebs, I am known as Razvan C R because it's nice. <laughs> what, what does the C and R mean? The other names, the, the, the initials of the other two names that I have happily. So, um, uh, this is a very short presentation of the tutorial that I made for Godot. It's uh, actually a translation from the Unity roguelike tutorial. I basically stole all of these assets and the idea from Unity and I implemented it into Godot. But doing so, I wanted to go into the more advanced stuff the, to cover some of the object oriented things, uh, such as a little bit about singletons, a little bit about uh, finite state machines, a little bit about the observer pattern and so on. And so it doesn't follow the Unity tutorial in regards of implementation. It's a more thought, thoughtful, I would say. <laughs> and um, I just want to go quick, quickly through the pages over here because it is an advanced it is an advanced tutorial in the sense that it goes through disadvanced concepts, object-oriented concepts, but in the end it goes very slowly because it actually uh, shows off the features in Godot and how to use it from the very beginning, from the very basic. So people that are uh, advanced might actually find this very useful, but people new to Godot will find it very useful, I think. And um, the main point of this talk actually is uh, I just had a conversation with Remy and with GDScript over here and we uh, decided that the <laughs> G <laughs> Sorry, GDQuest, not GDScript. I'm requesting myself. Yes. And I am going to work on a, a book, an ebook for the upcoming version 3 and hopefully I will release it when version 3 is going to be ready. Uh, based on this idea of, of a project which goes into advanced concepts, uh, object-oriented concepts, and um, we choose this idea of the roguelike. Obviously, we have to do everything from scratch, all of the assets and everything to be legal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I want to from you guys or anyone interested in this, is feedback, basically. Feedback on the tutorial and feedback on the uh, upcoming project book. You're using this for the book? I am using this concept, yeah. uh, proof of concept. <coughs> this tutorial Just was a proof of concept. Of yes, tutorial. yes. Um, so I want to go into details about, uh, into more details about uh, the workings of the object-oriented paradigms and have extra material like uh, videos, explanatory material, not just text, uh, which is kind of what I have in the tutorial series at the moment, text and some pictures, because I don't have time to do more complicated stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. If anyone wants to find this tutorial, just search for rosvanci r It's... Uh, <laughs> And you hopefully will find it. Uh, and if not, uh, Git Lab. It's in Git Lab. Uh, because I am poor and I can't afford the, my own <laughs> host. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, questions? Uh, you said that you hope to release the book uh, in approximately the same time frame as uh, Godot 3 will be released. Um, will you cover the new stuff, for example, in uh, GDScript, like the uh, dollar operator and properties, or will you just uh, use Godot 2 GDScript for making the book? I will hopefully use the advanced stuff. Everything that comes new, I want to have in the book. And as well as, I, I'm also going to contribute to the Python project, Python scripting language project. And if we uh, are lucky enough and have it ready by version 3, then I will also include it in the book 
hopefully. I don't know. I, I don't know any C sharp, so don't ask me to do that. <laughs> Anyone else? Any questions? Can you redo the conference from the beginning for the one where it's <laughs> No. <laughs> it was too long. <laughs> Can you talk a bit about your project to maybe your crowdfunding? Or not really, I cannot talk about the project because we literally just spoke yesterday, the first time the, the idea came yesterday. Uh, I don't have any plans on how to do it except that I want it to be an ebook with extra material for an in depth look at the more advanced concepts. Do you, do you consider this tutorial? Or? Thanks. Um, do you consider this tutorial finished or are you also adding? new stuff in the fu future or I am considering this uh, no sorry that's not the right button <laughs> that goes to the <laughs> enemy <laughs> I consider this tutorial not to be finished because it is still under construction there is one last chapter in it which is going to be about um, the interface and adding the little bit of new features to the interface part of the game, the UI. Uh, and with this, I will wrap it up. But I am obviously open to suggestions on how to improve this. I like, uh, do, you approach, uh, the, do you approach the problems you face in different ways, or just the way you follow to implement it? So basically, in Unity, they have what we have in the demos in Godot now. It's just some code slapped over there, and the yeah. game works, and you're happy. But this is not how you want your code to be organized in your big projects. So I am trying to follow the concepts from Game Programmer's uh, Pattern Book, Game Programming Pattern nice. Book. Um, which uh, is the theoretical part, and I use those concepts in a practical way to show them off on how to actually make them work together in a natural project. Because I also think it might be interesting for people new, so people who read this book, to like be uh, confronted with the way they would approach the problem, <laughs> and then see like a better solution. Yes, so it basically will go through the theory of the object-oriented stuff and it will build on that in a, hopefully a better way than the usual tutorial, basic tutorial. So I want these things that I'm making to be advanced in concept. Um, there's a lot of beginner tutorials, beginner ebooks, learn in 12 days, the beginner of nothingness. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't want to do that. That yeah. doesn't really help that yeah. much. It also reduces your book by 300 pages. Or so. Yeah, and uh, one other thing that I want to do is not just to build a project, but to go through the Godot concepts and explore the interface and how to use it uh, to yeah. build your project. No, not just you know copy this code and then it works, yeah. but actually going inside and explaining how things work in the core of the engine as well. I can do that. Thank you.